Hey guys, Mr. C here. So we're going to analyze some Hooke's Law graphs. So as we are, have already started doing in class, we've been analyzing some springs and we've been trying to make some Hooke's Law graphs. So what I've done is made a graph, plotted some data, and we're going to do a little bit of analysis. The objectives of this video are as follows. How do I find the spring constant, that's k, in a graph of force versus the elongation? And how do I find the total work done in a graph of force versus the elongation? So, you guys will see here that I've made a graph of force versus the elongation. The red dots, um, which I'll circle now, represent the points that I measured. And the black line is a line of best fit. So, what I want to analyze is the spring constant and the total work done. So, what we remember from class is the spring constant, k, equals the slope of the force versus elongation graph. So what I need to do now is I need to take the slope of this graph. Now, one key point you guys have to keep in mind is when taking the slope of the graph, you do not use the, the points as for taking the slope. What you must do is use the actual uh, line of best fit to make your points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw over some points. So I'll use this one and this one. Okay, so here's my two points that I'm going to choose to use. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to calculate my slope. So slope equals rise over run. So k equals rise over run, which equals the change in y over change in x. So delta y over delta x. Or in this case, because it's a force versus elongation graph, it equals delta f divided by delta x. So k equals 20 minus 5. Newtons divided by 5 minus 1 meters. Going ahead through the calculations, I get 15 over 4 newtons per meter. And there's my spring constant. Nice. Okay, so that's objective one. Now what I want to do is I want to find the total work done on a graph of force versus elongation. So, what you'll also remember from class is the total work done on a graph of force versus elongation can be represented by the area under the force versus displacement curve. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this work right here. And so, if I want to if I want to find the total work from maybe point zero to the elongation of five meters, what I need to do is I need to find the area under the curve. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight that area. You guys will notice that if I want to find the total work done, W, that equals the area under the triangle. So it's just the area of the triangle. So you remember the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So in this case, it's 1 half. The base is my elongation, uh, elongation, and my height is my force. So, area equals one half. Elongation is x, so it goes from zero to five. So my elongation is five, and my force it goes from zero and it stops at twenty. So my force is twenty newtons, giving me area equals the total work done which equals 1 half times 20 times 5, which equals 50, and the units of work are joules. And there we have it. So in this video, what we did is we calculated the total work done, and we calculated the spring constant k. And again, just to recap, the spring constant k can be calculated by the slope of the force versus the elongation graph, and the total work done can be calculated by the area underneath the force versus elongation graph. All right, hope this helps you guys out. Have a great day.